Hello everyone, thank you for watching this video. I am so proud of you, you have no idea. It's kind of like looking for a needle in a haystack, you know what I'm saying? So, I just want to say, ultimately, what my goal is to do with this channel, yes, flip the tables, is to express to you how there are certain scriptures in the Bible which I really strongly, firmly, repeatedly say and believe in, which are Ezekiel 34, John 10, Revelation 1 through 3. These are the, the foundational scriptures for this channel, okay? And what I want to do is show you through my testimony, through my experience, and let you know how and why I believe this is the end of the church age. And Matthew 24 also is, is the foundation because six times in the first part of Matthew 24, it's, it's saying, you know, let no man deceive you. And there's gonna be many false teachers and it says it six times, okay? And I just, <laughs> For me, I'm just speaking to the people who already understand what I'm saying. You can't find a church home. Well, glory to God, there's a reason for it. And it's written in His Word. And it's not a mystery anymore. It's not covered up. And God will prove it to you. Because He, he has it just like He has it in my life. He has it in your life. You have the same experiences. You have the same testimony. But you might not understand exactly how to match it up to scripture okay so that's all I'm, I'm here to do is to let you know I believe with all my heart and soul that this is the end of the church age okay because that's what it's saying in Matthew 24 when the disciples ask Jesus how do we know the end of the of the age when you put all these things together it's the end of the church age because Revelation 1 through 3 is saying seven times, okay? Seven times. Seven letters to seven churches, and they repeatedly say, he who overcomes will receive a reward. And I just think it has everything to do with come out from among them, touch not the unclean thing, receive not other plagues, and then I will receive you. And I'm just here to try to encourage you that it's time for you to rise up as well and speak out. So the other connection of it all about what is this purpose of yes, flip the tables, is there's all kinds of abuses and neglect happening in our churches. And it's time to speak out. You don't have to have some kind of really extreme situation like like it is with uh, the four the four young men who finally spoke up and exposed Eddie Long. It doesn't even have to be that extreme. Okay? But ultimately that's what I believe is really happening. That there is some extreme abuses going on in the churches. And, and I'm not trying to predict anything. I'm not trying to prophesy a future forecasting. It isn't like that. It's, it's a matter of, you know what? A lot of us has, has waited a long time for Pizzagate and Pedogate to come out in the open. And... If anybody's paying attention, yet almost nobody is talking about this part of it yet. Which is when when Laura Silsby went to go kidnap those children from Haiti. Okay, first of all, more than likely, she kidnapped a bunch of kids. Somebody somebody pointed out that there was a date that they had set. 
and they actually got caught a couple days after that date. So it, it insinuates that they succeeded in kidnapping a, a group of children, but they got caught kidnapping possibly the second group of children, okay? Whoa! So the bigger picture of it all is just in the news this month, April two, 2017, two pastors were busted in Seattle for being part of a child trafficking ring. So we need to look at this bigger picture of all of these ministries that were connected to to this foundation that Laura Silsby set up called New Life. And all these different ministries that she was connected to because some of these people were from all kinds of different states. And one of them or some of them or all of them were connected to the Baptist Church. We need to really start looking at the things that are happening behind closed doors where there's no accountability. You know it and I know it. Taxes are not an issue for churches. There's no accountability. They do not have to tell anybody about what they're making. Don't you think that's a perfect grounding for money laundering? These are just things that are in my mind. Look, look at how many jets does Kenneth Copeland have? If you're doing any research about how the CIA is, is smuggling drugs into, the, into America and, and they're under the guise of DynCor and the Clinton Foundation, you know, they do this with, with, with airplanes. Who's to say that they're not using Kenneth Copeland's planes from time to time? I mean, come on, you guys. Kenneth Copeland is the richest pastor in America, and he's he's best friends with Pope Francis. Do you know what Pope Francis is up to? There are people who are talking about ritual satanic sexual abuse and murder happening underneath the Vatican. It's just time, people, to, to understand. It's time to flip the tables. And this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to expose my experiences, my testimony, match it up to with what I'm seeing in our history in America. And I'm going to trust that you're going to do your own research. The bottom line, and why this is so difficult to, to discuss and to talk about and try to make this into a conversation, is because <laughs> we have controlled opposition in the churches. Like you just, you can't even imagine. Anytime somebody says, judge not lest ye be judged, that is an automatic stop sign. It means stop, do not talk about my pastor, just stop. Okay, that's what it means. It means, I don't want to hear it. It's, it's, just, it's just that point blank simple. And there's no more discussion. And most people just give up and walk away or, you know, whatever. I, I'm, I'm saying to you, let the dead bury the dead. We don't need those people. They're not part of the kingdom. I'm sorry. We need to understand this. The Lord God Almighty said there's 10 virgins. Five of them are on the right hand of the Lord and five of them are on the left. This is what Ezekiel 34 is declaring. You know, the Lord is separating the sheep from the sheep and the sheep from the goats and the wheat from the tares. Five of these virgins don't have oil, okay? And, and the Lord God says, why don't you just go back to where you were buying your oil? So there's, 
we're not going to captivate the attention of most Christians. And it's going to be easy for you to declare and to, and to figure it out. How to discern who are these people that are, are guarding the gates of heaven. You know, they're really the ones standing outside of the kingdom forbidding you to enter. I mean, so I'm just going to go on and on and on. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's what I'm doing is I just... I keep feeling what the scripture is saying. I, it comes to my mind and I speak it to prove to you that these people, these, these are modern day Pharisees. They're super churchy and they all use this, this controlled opposition, you know, blanket statements of scripture to try to prove to you that you should shut your mouth. And it's just, it's just mind-blowing, okay? It's just absolutely mind-blowing. Because honestly, are these people, are these people on the payroll of the trafficking kings? Are they on the, are they on the pastoral payroll? I mean, what is their reason for being so protective of their false shepherds? So I'm just here to say, this is what Yes Flip the Tables is going to be all about. And I implore you, please watch all of my videos to understand. I just don't have time to fit it all into... I just don't have time to fit everything into you know, a documentary series or anything. And that's what I'm trying to do is kind of prove like, I, this is what I want to see people doing. I want to see you getting out here and not being perfect. Don't strive for perfection. Don't, don't be editing. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm trying to show you is, is, is about this transparency. Be imperfect. Be in the moment. I don't know. Is it annoying to you that there's not enough editing? I mean, is is this really is this really uh, having to watch these videos? Is it really that inconvenient? Maybe because it's not it's not going fast enough for you. I mean, I don't know what to say. It's taken me a long time to get here at this point of my life. And this 27, 2017 is the time to finally start talking about these matters. It's really time to start flipping the tables. So I implore you also to really start coming out with your testimonies, how you know exactly firsthand that this is exactly how things are happening in the churches. So watch the other videos because I am, I'm going from church to church to church to church about my experiences. And I'm showing you that there's a pattern. There's a pattern in the Lord to make these scriptures of Ezekiel 34 and John 10 and Revelation 1 through 3 and Matthew 24 all real in my life. So I don't think it's a far-fetched thing to declare that this is the end of the church age. So just remember that there's only a remnant that refuses to bow its knee to Baal. There's only a tenth portion, a remnant. See Isaiah, Isaiah 6. There's only a few who are going to enter the kingdom of God. And we know this because of the few that entered the ark in the days of Noah. Okay? So go ahead and please share and let people know they need to subscribe. This is free. It doesn't cost anything. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.